In this video, I will talk about how to run your test parallelly across the multiple browser. This is also called as cross browser testing. So let's see how to do that. So here I have this test base class and inside the test base class, I have this initialization method. So this method set up the browser before running any test. So this initialization method takes the parameter of string type and this is the name of the browser and based on the name of the browser it will open or set up the browser. So as we can see here I have this conditional logic. So if the parameter is equal to Chrome then open up the Chrome browser or set up the Chrome browser and if the parameter my browser is equal to ff then open up the firefox browser now if we want to run this whole test suite parallelly then we want to pass this parameters parallelly this can be done by updating your testng.xml file so here is my testng.xml file that i have renamed it as a regression test.xml so let me open this so first step you as you can see over here this is the name of this suite that's a regression test and this is the name of the test that's a hubspot regression test on a chrome browser so if i want to run this test on chrome browser i have to give or declare the parameter tag parameter tag and it has a name give a name my p w my browser and value is equal to chrome so if this is a key value pair which states that uh, the name of the parameter is my browser and the value of that parameter is a chrome okay so this all test going to run on the chrome browser okay if uh, i pass the parameter my browser inside my test base class i will let me show you i will show you once i am done with this file okay and now if i want to run this on the firefox browser i will copy this test and paste it here and uh, give the appropriate name like hubspot on a chrome browser here i would say firefox browser and as we saw the value to open up the firefox browser is ff inside our test base class if i pass the parameter as a ff then only this will open up the firefox browser so i have to pass a value as ff right? here i want to run it parallelly so in order to do that let me zoom up a little bit in order to do that i have to declare that i want to run this test parallelly inside this suite tag para parallel equal to test right and if you want to maintain the order of test run then you can say preserve order and true Okay. okay so now as we see here i have a parameter with the name my browser and value chrome so here my here my initialization method takes the parameter my browser and based on that parameter it set up the browser so if i go inside my login test this is the method this is the test method you have to write parameter tags make sure it is coming from test ng annotation and inside give a name of the parameter so what is the name of the parameter parameter name is my browser make sure the name of the parameter is my browser okay name of the parameter my browser come inside the login test and say name of the parameter is my browser inside setup method we have this uh, let's say string argument my browser right so this 
parameter if it is declared here the value of this parameter of the browser will come here that is going to be passed here and eventually we want to pass this value here that is my browser okay so all i want to do now is right click here and run as a test ng suite and this will run my test on chrome as well as firefox browser this is the firefox browser and earlier it was the chrome browser So here is the result of our test run. So all of my recaps and test ran. So here you can refresh it, um, refresh the project. Well, yes. And uh, now go to the location of the project and CRM test and test output and regression test were the Okay, we ran at 682 so this is the one test on the chrome browser so these are the tests that ran we have one test that failed rest all the tests passed with the time of execution and this one was skipped and uh, similarly we have uh, this uh, test subspot regression test on firefox browser same here one test failed rest of them passed and one was skipped so that's it so i hope you got an idea how to run your test parallelly across multiple browsers you can set multiple browsers and add more condition inside your test based class and if you have any questions or any doubt please comment below and uh, please check the links in the description there are important links you may find it helpful uh, thank you very much and with that I am ending this video.